the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. definitely. I mean, you have to look at what's going on uh, uh, on, on a, a global standpoint, not just here in the U.S. Right. You know, globally is, is how you look at it because this, this lifestyle is not for a, a specific hemisphere or or region of this world it is a global thing yes it is a a the kingdom of god is global global yes sir. the fact that it is beyond <clears throat> earth it's it's throughout eternity yes. uh the, the kingdom of god is actually holding this physical realm in place hmm. Oh, it, it is way beyond the borders of, of the United States. Yes, sir. In the other region. So the things of God have to apply on a global uh, 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 playing field. Yes, sir. So you have people talking about how you're supposed to appear. Uh -huh. Your outward appearance, you know, you need to come dressed up, suited, booted, you know, uh and come in and then you got to think okay well will you be able to wear all that in africa come on now come on you know we're, we're in the sahara desert <laughs> it's almost <laughs> 200 200 degrees will you will you wear it there right. right will you wear that in the rainforest come will, on, bro. You know, so you, you have to think about this thing you yes. know it, it's about your outward appearance. Yeah. It's not about the efforts that are made to actually survive yeah. in this physical realm. It's about your soul and your spirit. Yes. It's about and your relationship with God. Your Come relationship with God is is paramount. Paramount. Good word. Exactly. To this entire walk. Because it is through that that you will be able to receive Come on. specific revelation yes not only who god is and what god wants but who you are come on now come on son. so <laughs> we have one-sided relationship with god yes you yes. know many times our prayers are just speeches Come on. There's no effort given into listening to the, that still small voice. And sometimes it ain't, it's not still and small. It's just as loud as it can be because his word, his word. Is, is right there talking his to word. you. Plain and simple. Yes. You know, but then there is the revelation Come of on. his word. Come on. And that takes a relationship with God. Yes. Yes. A relationship that is cultivated so that you will hear and know the difference between God and the and, and this world. Come and on, so man. God this world. So that's important. When you have that relationship, uh -huh. you begin to know the very nature of a of 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 God. Just like you know the very nature of a friend or Come a on. loved one. Or family member, yeah. you, you don't just look at somebody, or even worse, have somebody try and tell you how another person is. Come on, and have an intimate relationship with that person. Yes, you do not truly know that person until you spend time Woo. with that person. So, uh, therefore, it is paramount that you have a relationship and the form of that relationship is spending time renewing your mind and going into 
thought and prayer and conversation. And conversation. With God. Yes. And conversation. Yes. You have a message, a message, you know, you have words. Yeah. yeah. You have communication and then you have feedback. That's yes. a conversation. Yeah. There is there is talking from both sides. Come on. There now. is listening from both sides. Woo. You know. I used to tell my, my kids, you know, our conversation requires you to make an effort. I can't just call you and say, how are you doing? And you just say, fine. Yeah. What's been going on? Nothing. Oh, come on. Come on. What's, what's you been doing? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> God does not conversate like that. No. Come on. God communicates. Yes, sir. And, and, and with clarity and understanding, if that's what your faith is in, and that's how you believe, and that's what you desire. If you desire, truly desire to be close with God, he will give you that desire. And, and you know, you know I, I was, when you were talking, I was thinking about how often we, we have done in this time, even in this text we were talking about, and even when the text we looked at Exodus chapter 20, when God came to talk to mankind and, and they said, Moses, you go talk to him. Because we talk, this is what they said to us, it resonates. If we talk to him, what would happen? They said they'd die, didn't they? Mm -hmm. and, and how often do I wonder that even in our modern day faith, that we have allowed a um, not Christ the mediator, but under mediators, under shepherds, uh, or people to be the go-between between you and God, opposed to that personal relationship that you're saying that we should have with Him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. How often do we allow the in-between somebody else to be that mediator, opposed to Christ being a personal relationship with him and why we gotta always watch out that all ministry should push people have faith in god that's what the scripture says right it's to have faith in god not people people wants to want to validate you but that's not where you need validation from the bible said a study show yourself approved unto god not man. And then the last scripture came to me with the thing what you were talking about was that scripture where he said, I never knew you. That's a tough one right there. Oh. Oh, that, 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 that right there, that, that's hell in and of itself. That, that uh, is the problem. To be denied by love itself. Yes, because I never knew you. I never knew you. I never knew you, but did we not prophesize in your name? Did we not cast out devils in your name? The wonderful things in your name, didn't we do that? No, you may have did it in, oh, well, look, what's that a scripture? Well, Paul said, am I? Some of y'all said, you you are Paul. Some said you are Barnabas or Apollo. Or, uh, excuse me. Who is Who is Paul? <laughs> Who is Apollo? You gotta look at it. If, if, who is glorified? Oh, uh, we yeah. You know, for, for Christ, it was all about glorifying God. It's all about, he always pointed he to the that Father. was it, glorify my Father. Yeah. So that my Father shall receive glory. That's Ooh. all you, I'm fulfilling my Father's will so that yeah. you be glorified. Yes. He is I glorify thy name. I yes. glorify you. That's my will to glorify you. And even when he said that I be glorified, so that the Father they go <laughs> right back to the Father. So that the Father be, be glorified. I mean, always point. It was always, always yes, sir. pointing to him. Yes, and sir. so when things are done so that man is glorified. You know, when, when when they're seeking glory, when they're seeking fame, when they're taking credit, yes, then depart from me. I never knew you. Is yes. Yes. 
yeah, yeah. Oh because yeah. It wasn't done for the father, for the father's sake. It wasn't done for those lost souls' sake. It wasn't done for the edifying and perfecting of the saint. Come on, it was done for the glorifying and perfecting of self. Self. Yes. You know. You know. Now, even at, at the um, scripture, we also dealt with Smyrna, wasn't it? When he said, "You have forgotten your first love." Hmm. You know what I mean? You, you, you. Somewhere along the line, you went somewhere else and forgotten your first love. But how see, did he start it? Who has bewitched you? Who? Who? Has has bewitched you? Who? who what? Who is this? Who are you listening to? Who? <laughs> What's right what? back to the garden? Back right to back the garden. to the garden. Yeah, Adam and Eve. Yep. Yeah. Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you you were next? Who? You went Who to another one. Adam. Mm, mm, mm. That's deep. So, it, it, it is, you know, and and so the the, the <laughs> you know the beauty of this. What's that? That as I'm. Speaking, <laughs> I am so ministering to myself. He's revealing. Yeah. Because all I'm doing is no different than Christ. I'm just speaking those things that I hear from the Father. Come on, sir. Come on. All I'm doing. And Come believe on. me, man, I'm like out here in glory here, and, <laughs> and I'm just going through it. Yes, sir. Because mm -hmm. that's what that's what the scripture provokes us to do. And yeah. gives us to say, don't lose focus. Don't get in, don't get caught up with man. And, and, and I mean, I said, that's what, if nothing else, anybody that ever listened to this is understand this, don't get off track and understand that man has that interest in mind of being mindful of the things of man instead of the mind for the things of God. Our ability, even in coming in fellowship and ministry, is to equip the saints to do what? The work of the ministry. The work of the ministry is to point toward Jesus, point toward the Father, point, point toward the Holy Spirit. That's the focus. And you know, go back to this scripture again. Look at look at look at how man does things. You we said glorify God, right? Look how they would twist even those scriptures. You know, we we stopped off at the fact of 23, now it's 24. You know, because the parents say he's of age, ask him, right? So they was a fear. Look at this. It's it's how they get but you just said how the enemy can try to twist it a little bit. Plus this. Mm -hmm. Then again called they the man that was blind and said unto him, look at that. You remember what you just said? What you just said? What? Give give God the praise. You had a twist coming in there? Mm -hmm. Give God the praise. Now, you call the other man a sinner. Therefore, you're trying to say you're not giving God the praise. So so, so we're going to go ahead and tell you, give God the praise. And look at this. We know <laughs> this man is a sinner. We know that. Yeah. Give God the praise. Now, I like the man, though. I like the man. The man is good, eh? right? <laughs> He, he ain't buying what they said. <laughs> he said, he answered them. <laughs> hey, whether he is a sinner or no, I know not. I heard you know. I mean, you know. I know not though. See, I'm not going to go by what you know. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't know that. One thing I do know though. <laughs> That whereas I was blind, hey, hallelujah, yeah. now I see, huh? And, 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 yeah, and then they go back, look at this, how they try to put that doubt in there. That's what the devil does, right? He goes in there again. The, the, then said they unto him again. After the man just made that statement. Yeah. This, this is a great statement he just said, right? There's really no yeah. comeback. There's no comeback against that man's statement. They said to him again, what did he to thee? How opened he thy eyes? 
and, and, and you, you see that the pattern of mankind. And this is something we just want to make sure anybody that listen and as we equip ourselves to do the work in the ministry is to make sure people don't get us off focus on what God is and who he is to us. They said, uh, let me get it back on here. <laughs> he answered them. Now, and that's another thing too. You give your witness, brother. I said, you, you, you know, that, that's, you give your witness. They, they, he answered them, I told you already. Did you not hear? <laughs> Did you not hear what for? Would I hear? Would you hear it again? Will you also be his disciples? <laughs> they went off on the man. <laughs> They, they reviled him just like Cain reviled Abel. 